<clears throat> hey y'all. It is September the 29th. 2016 and I just, I'm gonna make one more video because here's what I know here's what I know in my heart at least one person at least one person is gonna come across this video might have came across other of my videos or I, I say quite plainly quite frankly that racism does not exist it is a trap in your mind you will you're not trying to get out of it most y'all ain't trying to get out of it those of y'all who believe in racism, a lot of people, they, they, they'll expand their perspectives and, and they'll, they'll widen their horizons and they'll figure out, yeah, guess what, racism, racism that's a joke. It's a joke on you. Uh, it's, a, it's to imprison you inside your own pathetic mind. All right? I'm sorry if I offended you, but racism does not exist. I'm trying to help you. Here's the thing, man. Martin Luther King, you know, love him or hate him. I, th I think he's a pretty stand-up dude. Uh, he was talking about, you know, one day I hope my children could live in a, you know, where everybody's equal and everybody, you know, can get along and stuff. Guess what? He's talking about right now. We've been past racism. We've been past it. Guess what? We're living in the future. Everybody out there is talking about, oh, man, I can't wait for the day. I can't wait for the day where uh, racism, racism doesn't, uh, you know, exist. No, it doesn't. And guess what? It never did. It never did. We're living in the era that Martin Luther King spoke of. And everybody who's 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 dead set and living in the past, dead set and wallowing in their ignorance, uh, basically you're disrespecting Martin Luther King, if I had to give my opinion. And you really can't speak on what exactly a dead man would, would think these days. But if I had to give my opinion, you're completely spitting on uh, Martin Luther King and his legacy. So good luck with that. But here's the thing. All right, you can go to Jesse Lee Peterson or a whole bunch of people, a whole bunch of people, and they'll slowly and distinctly and with compassion uh, teach you just how much racism has never existed. Demons, they've existed since forever, since before we can remember. Those are demons you're seeing, all right? That is true. Racism never did. And there was an illusion, and it was like a magic trick, and it was put on in front of everybody to convince them that racism exists. No, it doesn't. It never did. All right. But the thing is, you know, there's more than enough evidence. There's, there's mountains of evidence to show you that, that if racism ever existed, and it doesn't, uh, if it ever did, it certainly doesn't exist in America. That's preposterous, all right? Uh, pretty much we were the first ones to get rid of sl slavery to begin with. As far as, you know, what's called black slavery. We got rid of it. We were like the first ones to do it. You know what I'm saying? Uh, a lot of people don't want to give our nation credit for that, but our nation does deserve all sort of credit for that. And the thing is, like I said, our nation is special in that regard, right? I mean, if you haven't seen it, here's a clip of Lil Wayne. You're a deep thinker in these issues. Mm -hmm. So step back from all of it. I know this is a very broad question, but, but where are we in the United States of America in race relations and what, what you see from day to day in your life? Skip, they wouldn't want to ask me that. They wouldn't want my answer to represent it because God knows I have been nothing but blessed. My whole path, my, these 33 years have been nothing but a yeah. blessing. I have, I have never, and I'm, never is a strong word, I've never dealt with racism, and I'm glad I didn't have to. And I don't know if it's because of my blessings, I don't know if it's, but it's, it, it is my reality. So I have a, I would have to say, I, not only did I thought it was over, I still believe it's over, but obviously it is. So you've never experienced any offensive behavior from any other color or? No, sir. Wow. All right, you can see the whole rest of the clip. Um, you know, I'll leave a link below where he, he states, and this is just his personal opinion, he states quite clearly, that he ain't never had to ever deal with racism. He's never ever had to deal with it, all right? Never. He's one of the, the quote, blackest people. He's very dark. He's extremely dark, all right? I've always been into his stuff, man. I really have, man, I, to, if I'm to be honest with you. I've always been into Lil Wayne's stuff since back in the Carter 2 and even the Carter 1 days. You know, I really like his stuff. I like his style, to be honest with you. But that's beside the point. 
Lil Wayne's never experienced it. You might say, well, he's a precious snowflake and, he, you know, he's an exception. All right. All right. But here's here's why I bring all this up. You know, I was, uh, I came across a television earlier today and they were, they were speaking uh, about silly, uh, worthless things like it usually does. That's what the television does. But they were talking about some uh, stuff that doesn't matter really. Uh, they were talking about celebrities like comedians, uh, certain funny people who earn all sort of money. And the, and the number one on their list uh, was Kevin Hart. You know, I, I like it. I like a lot of his stuff too. Uh, Kevin Hart, his net, his net worth, according to this television show, his net worth is eighty-five million dollars. Eighty-five million. That's his net worth, and it is growing. Understand that. Um, I don't have a problem with that. If Kevin Hart wants $85 million and he can get it, fair and square, go for it. It's, that's not a problem for me. Uh, but $85 million. How is it even possible at all for Kevin Hart to get $85 million uh, just for being funny? In a nation that's somehow uh, being held down by systemic racism. How is that even possible? I want you to explain that to me. Is it that only black people are seeing his movies? Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, guess what? Racism doesn't exist. I need to get over that. This is uh, the tribulation. The Bible, that does exist. It's coming to fruition. Anyways, this is September the 29th, 2016. I'm going to holler at y'all. This has been the White Devil. So, go one level deeper with me. I remember one time I saw you after you had done a concert. I think it was in Westchester. Different kind of neighborhood. But, but I asked you what the racial breakdown was of your audience. Do you remember this? And you told me the only black face you could see in the whole audience was your makeup artist. I believe that's what you said, and she was in the front row, right? <laughs> a lot of white kids love rap. Yes. Explain that. What, what, what does that say to you? What's the message of it? What's the bigger picture of it? I don't want to be bashed, because I don't want to sound like I'm on the wrong, if there is a side, but I thought that was clearly a message that there was no such thing as racism. That's what I thought that was. Okay. I got that, it. that was a perfect example. 